You're logged on to UStreamRadio.com, bringing you the finest independent music and urban talk radio. Thank you for logging on. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get this thing going. Tonight's edition of Scandal Season 3, Episode 14. We finally got all the answers to last week's question. James Novak was the one shot by Jake. Um, you know, here's the thing. Jake has really shown his, uh, has shown a mean streak and, and the ability to do what's necessary and make the tough decisions. Uh, I definitely think that he's going to be a force to reckon with. He already is a force to be reckoned with. We saw that he was able to shoot uh, three people. Uh, the two girls, he had no problem disposing of them. Jake, uh, no, uh, I'm sorry, James Novak was somebody that he took some time with. He talked to. Um, he ha- he was able to kill the girls quickly. Uh, Novak, he had to um, make it seem like it was a carjacking. Cyrus seemed very distraught. Uh, we also got to see some flashback scenes about how they met and all of that good stuff. Some very touching things in there. Um, Jake was also shown bearing the bodies of the women reporters uh, that you know that were all into the whole thing with uh, with him. We were able to see that and how he disposed of their bodies after shooting them, burying them in a big, big, uh, big grave. Um, coincidentally, Olivia called him while he was burying the girls. But um, the investigated uh, the investigation continued once they realized the girls were missing. But um, the thing they were putting out there that it was some type of a carjacking. They found a Patsy. The uh, B613 people found a Patsy to take the fall for the James Novak murder. And another thing that was interesting, he had some type of a kidney ailment, and they said he could get free, um, you know, free, you know, kidney work and operations in jail. Obviously, they're going to let him out of jail sometime later down the line when people are not even paying attention. It, it really gives you an, in, a, a, an insight into how things go down in the government. Very, very messy how that whole thing went down. Sally also told Fitz that she was going to suspend her campaign in honor of the press secretary being killed. However, she went against that and tried to go and get support from some gun lobbyists uh, in Texas somewhere. But um, Cyrus, even though he was in mourning, the only thing he knew how to do was work and continue. So he helped strategize things. They um, circumvented her, uh, you know, lies as to saying she was going to stay off the campaign trail temporarily and um, he decided to suggest to Fitz that they send Millie and the governor to get the gun lobbyist support. They went down there together. And you know that's bad news, right? You know it's bad news when you put the governor and, uh, and the first lady alone together in another place because the governor is going to say and do the right things because I generally genuinely rather think that he loves her so this this is going to be a tricky thing this is really going to be a tricky thing olivia speaking of tricky uh found out of that the b613 was responsible for the murders um jake threw a thinly veiled threat um, maybe not so thinly veiled saying that bad things happen to good people and you know he also said that he didn't send somebody else to do the job he did the job himself uh, Olivia also met with her father kind of um, spilling the guts and telling her how she uh, you know just felt like everyone was bad and uh, he spared his soul telling her how many people he was responsible for killing and all of these things and um, basically he was trying to say cut Jake Cut Jake some slack, girl. I didn't kill more people than that. He only killed a couple people, you know. But um, it was a very good performance. Her father is an excellent um, 
excellent at channeling that emotion and getting things riled up and then going back to, you know, the weird father-daughter relationship that they normally have. And uh, speaking of father-daughter relationship, Olivia's mother and uh, the <laughs> the girl who's funding things, she <clears throat> showed her hand. They're, they're trying to get a terrorist to do something, and she thought that Olivia's mother was going to be the terrorist. Not at all. She said she wanted to get a patsy to uh, take the uh, take the fall. Basically, they have someone in mind. He sent some underlings. Olivia's mother killed the guy, cold blood, no problem, to send a message to the terrorists that they're trying to hire and that Olivia's mother is going to eventually frame. This girl so was so spooked out that she went to you know, uh, homeboy and said, um, you know, I think this thing is getting too crazy. I need to get out of here. But, you know, I, I can't, I kind of see where this is going. Somebody's going to get killed and it's not going to be Olivia's mother. Let me say that. And she's going to take all the money. Very, very scary lady. Um, and it's just interesting when I think about the fact that I think she's in CB4. I think she was the, uh, she played Chris Rock's groupie in CB4, so it's kind of weird seeing her in this role. Anyway, um, Cyrus, I'm assuming, did not know about this murder. He uh, showed in a, a very emotional side, a very genuinely emotional side, at the um, announcing of the arresting of, of the Patsy. He broke down. They showed a lot of very touching scenes about how him and James met and became a, a couple, how he told Fitz about the relationship, how he showed everyone about the relationship. It was very, very touching, and he eventually broke down, unable to uh, go forward with announcing it uh, once he, he started having the flashbacks about their relationship. Olivia took over and made the announcements. Uh, Dave who was spared by Jake if he cooperated with things. I knew it was going to be difficult. I said last week that I thought that it was going to be uh, James. I'm sorry if I, I, I think I said Jake a couple of times. Uh, that James was going to be the one who was shot by Jake. All these J's. Uh, so, you know, Dave, David is cooperating against his will, but Olivia told him that we have to pull together to take down this B613. Eventually we'll be able to do it. For right now we have to go along with um, what they're trying to send. B613 basically is something they take the law in their own hands. And what's really scary about the whole thing is that this show mirrors a lot of things that happen have happened and will happen in our government. So uh, that's one part that's, you know, when you really think about it, is, is really scary, but it's fascinating at the same time. So that pretty much wraps up this edition of Scandal. Very interesting show, a lot of things going on, and the season is just getting started. We have a lot of other things to look forward to, a lot of unanswered questions. We don't know where things are going and how we're going to get there, what the end game is. But I see this election is heating up, and it's going to be very interesting. No telling what any of the people involved are going to do, because everyone involved is ruthless. I will see you guys next week. Your show is Dominic Case. I'm out. If you're listening to us on iTunes or Stitcher Radio, please take a moment to give us a five-star rating or review. We love the feedback. If you're on YouTube, click the like button. Here at Ustream Radio, we bring you exciting programming absolutely free of charge. Log on to UstreamRadio.com today. Thank you for listening, y'all.